Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Jim and Java. I am so excited to be here with you today. This is always such a bright spot for me each week is I get a chance to address specific questions that you have about fundraising and development. For those of you who aren't already subscribers to this channel, I'd strongly encourage you and ask you if you would to subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow and bring this message to more people in the nonprofit world, more leaders like you who are trying to make a difference in your nonprofit world and also in our society and in the world as a whole. I'm always excited to be here to address your fundraising questions. So let's dive right into our first question today. Our first question today is from Aaron in Nashville, Tennessee. And Aaron asks, how do you determine whether gifts given to an event are tax deductible? Well, Aaron, thank you so much for that question. I know that in some cases, uh, it, you can just look up what's tax deductible or not. Uh, on, an, on the IRS website or speaking with the IRS, with an IRS agent. But honestly, it can sometimes be a little daunting and a little frustrating when it comes to understanding exactly what IRS regulations are. And so from my standpoint, it always comes down to does the donor or the partner benefit or do you, the organization, benefit? And the deduction really is more fully and, and leans more towards deductibility when it benefits the organization. If you are doing an activity and the donor benefits from the particular items, say you're doing a golf-a-thon and someone gets items that you give to them as part of their registration fee or even a registration fee, being part of the cost of the event to play golf. If somebody is getting, is paying $250 for a registration for a round of golf, they are still getting a round of golf. Now what you'll have to do is, during that time, is determine what the typical cost would be, the fair market value of that round of golf. If that round of golf would normally cost them $125 and you're charging them $250, then they only get to deduct half of what that registration fee is because they're getting the value, the fair market value of what the round of golf is. If you're giving them a, uh, a golf club as part of that, you would deduct the value of the golf club or a mitten that would go on top or a sock that would go on top of a golf club or a sleeve of balls. All those kinds of things, if you had to go out and purchase them, what would those cost? If we're talking about a dinner that you're doing and you are going to charge people the cost uh, for a ticket price for that, then the IRS wants you to declare what would the value of that meal be. If you're going to charge someone $75 for a ticket to your dinner, and the meal costs $25, they can only declare $50 of that as a tax deductible gift on their income tax. If you're doing an auction and someone purchases a product for $100 and the value of that was $75, they can only deduct $25 of that. Or if that auction item was $250 and they paid a thousand dollars for that they could deduct 750 of that so the only way that they could deduct hundred percent is if the item cost the fair market value was more than the amount that they paid for it so you've got to really think about what is the uh, value to the donor and so if the donor receives any value at all then there may be, in an all likelihood, there may be a portion of their gift that's taken off. If they don't receive any value, as an example, when I do dinners 
and people, whether they give a gift or not, there's no condition whatsoever, then 100% of their gift is tax deductible because we are giving them the meal free of charge. There's no ticket sale. They're getting the meal as a gift, a free gift from us, and they turn around and give a donation. No commitments, no obligations, no connection. Then they get 100% tax deduction. So that is generally how you determine whether something from an event is going to be tax deductible or not. It really has to do with whether they're getting a value back from that. So Aaron, I hope that helped you a little bit to determine how on events you can tell whether something is tax deductible or not. I once again just appreciate these questions. Please keep the questions coming. Send me questions on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Send it to my email address at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. Follow me out on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies and also on Facebook, our Development Effectiveness Strategies Facebook group. So once again, it is my pleasure and my joy to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.